All right, guys, um, we're back, and Tyler and Donnie are up at New York for Supercross, I think. So I'm flying solo, so I'm just trying to get like everything ready. I, I mean, if I can get it all in by myself, I will, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna like put the subframe together outside the car and then maybe lift it up with like three jacks and like lift it in a place, bolt it in, and then maybe I can do it by myself. But I just wanna like get the tank cleaned up and maybe clean a little bit under the what I can't clean under there, you know, when the car is done. But uh, pretty excited. So I'm gonna start getting this thing ready to rock and roll. And then I'll check back in with you in a minute. There's a few things I need to do. I gotta like some of these bolts, like they're rusty. So I'm just gonna hit them on the bench grinder and just make them look pretty. Most of the hardware I got new actually, it's over there in a box. So I guess I'll show that in a little while, but yeah, just uh, it's really one of those jobs where you just uh, gotta get to work. I don't really think it's gonna be fun, but it'll be worth it. Um, so I'm gonna get to cleaning the tank and I guess getting stuff together and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, I uh, I forgot that since no one was here that I would have to put the gas tank in by myself. Don't do it by yourself. Just, uh, I really strongly advise having a friend here. So that was a nightmare, that took forever. That's why I didn't even put it on a time lapse. It would've killed my SD card, but it's all in. So, um, yeah, see, the, the problem is, I mean, some of you are probably watching like, Oh, this dude just doesn't know what he's doing, like, you know, like, if you've never seen an E36 gas tank come out, this is why. See this right here? You have to feed this through while bringing the tank up and, like, by yourself, even with jacks. It's so hard to pull that through. And, um, some of you will know and some of you won't, but now you know, so have someone with you. But now... Um, I guess what I'll be doing, I'm like I'm, I'm trying to go about this, trying to make this easier for myself, by myself. I think I'm going to put the whole subframe together and put that thing. I have like, we have like four jacks. So I might be able to jack up like all of it at once, I'm hoping. So I'm going to put it all together and then I guess I'll get back to you guys and tell you if it was a bad idea or it worked really well. So I'll see you soon. guys um i think i'm gonna i'm not gonna do what i was gonna say i think i'm just gonna put the you know subframe with the rear connected in first and then build off of that um i think i'd do it actually the other way if someone was here but like trying to teeter all that i don't want it to like land on me while i'm under it so i'm just gonna do it the safe way and it might take a little longer but probably work out better that way anyway so i'll just set you guys up and Go from there, I guess. So, see you in a minute. impact under the car without glasses awful idea i just got a ton of stuff in my eyes that was really stupid but we're all in good to go everything went well i blue loctited these because they don't have like the these like lock nuts I, you would know if you worked on these these are like squished like sideways so like they're kind of a locking nut at the same time they're a nut um but yeah so these are all in solid <laughs>
Ugh, that was a nightmare. Uh, apparently, you can't put the rear end before you do this control arm because the bolt won't back out because it touches the uh, the rear. So don't do that. I just had to take it all back out and put it back. You'll see. But uh, I think now I'm gonna put in the I put in the shock because I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna hold it up with the shock, like well you know, this, the knuckle and the trailing arm. And then I can start bolting it together, I think. So I'll do that first and then I'll get back to you guys and let you know the way to do it so you don't end up doing what I did where I had to take a rear out again and you know. So let me figure out what works and I'll let you know in a minute, so. Ugh. Okay, uh, a few things. One, keep the rear out until you're done the whole thing because the top trailing arms that hold the spring and the bottom one that adjusts like, I guess camber, the camber arms probably, I don't know what they're called, but I think that's it. They both have to be put on before the rear goes in. You can shimmy the rear out of place for the bottom ones, but the top one you can't. So just keep the rear out all the way until the end. But I finally got one side all the way in. This thing's probably gonna be in need a hell of an alignment because I unwound the, I needed one before, but I unwound the one camber link because uh, I thought I didn't re realize the suspension was hanging. And then I was like, I didn't realize the suspension was hanging. And then um, I wound it out to try and make it meet, which would have been wrong. So I jacked it up to where the, the studs looked level instead of this way or this way. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to get it aligned anyway, but. It should be close enough to drive it. Uh, it needs tires anyway. Like we gotta do a few things. I'm gonna lift the. I wanna lift. I wanna bring the suspension up like an inch on either side, unless like the suspension changes with one the one shock being the same height. But I think you gotta adjust the uh, these things. See, I've I've never seen this stuff. I'm not a BMW guy, but I think you gotta adjust those up maybe. But they look like they're pretty far. But maybe they gotta be adjusted up some more to get another inch. I don't know. I'll have to, I saw a video that from that company that actually shows you how to make them work, but I don't know. I think me and Tyler are gonna adjust that next weekend. But I'm just moving on to the other side. I still have the whole other side to do, right? So I gotta do that right now. Um, but now that I got it kind of understood and got a rhythm going, I think I can probably get this side in pretty quick and we'll go from there, so. Um, I guess I'll set you guys up on a little something. Sorry for all like the time lapses, but no one's around and this is, this has been hell trying to do it myself, but whatever. Anyway, I really wanted to just kind of call it quits here, but seems legit garage. I got a little bit of some stuff from them. Got the Willwood dual caliper set up. And uh, you know, now we're at like the cool stuff, not like just the tedious make the car strong stuff, so. I uh, figured I'd, you know, kind of try and walk you through this a little bit as much as I can, but I'm just excited to put it on. So I'm gonna let's see what happens and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, fancy hardware. Okay, let's see here. Let me look for a second. I don't know if you can see, but for the front, what you're gonna you're gonna have one little one and two mediums and. I'm probably almost positive they suggest it, but I'm just gonna use Loctite just in case. I don't, I, I'm almost positive they tell you to, but better be safe than sorry. So. This little one goes directly at the top. Knees. Two right here. Go one on the bottom, one on top, and they're right at the tabs. So, yeah, there you go. And then I'm gonna wind it in, and then I'll uh, get back to you. This car's driving me nuts, and my camera died right when I was about to tell you. But there's these little things in the back. If you like yanked your cables out like I did, because they get corroded and they get stuck. Obviously, they're rusty as hell. Take a punch beat it up 
and then wiggle it with pliers and keep beating it and PB blasting and it'll come out. It'll mangle the top, but it'll come out eventually because you have one main big bolt in the back. One of these, you'll have two of these. They're a little longer than the caliper ones and you have to put this in the back. Um, obviously, you don't want your brakes ripping off. So just make sure you take that off and don't be lazy. It sucks. Uh, everything about these cars sucks. So what's it matter? It's one extra five more minutes. Well, 30 minutes later, but whatever. Just make sure you get that out. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, almost there. So, got our fancy calipers, and this is why these things are awesome. See the retainer clip? You gotta pry up for, I, no, let's see. These are brand new, they're gonna be a pain in the ass, go figure. No, never mind. See, pop straight out, okay. I just gotta load them. So it'd be that way. Obviously the, the three pins to the top. They slide in. Nice and easy. Once your pads are in, you obviously want the brake pads towards the rotor. Man. Fool out of me. Oh, that'd be why. Didn't have it in the right hole. Story of my life. All right. There you go. Now these are loaded, ready to rock and roll. I'll do the other one and then I'll show you installing it. I'm really tired, but I'm pumped. Looks good. Got the new Willwood in there. And it spins, so I did it right. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm not gonna bore you with watching the other side, but that'd be a whole BMW subframe put in in one day. And the only thing I got is the one, I think I already said it, but the one trailing arm bolt, that's how it came out. So obviously it was no good, but that's gonna be a wrap. I can't do any more. I've been at it for like nine hours, so I'm done. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm sure it'll be good because Tyler will be back. And we're going to do angle and hook up this hydro. So I'll see you soon.